Hey guys, my name is James Thompson and welcome to INFM 220 Management Information Systems. Um, I live on James Island and I've uh, been in Charleston since about 2008. Um, and I've been with the College of Charleston for about a day now. Um, I was brought on board on Friday um, and uh, that's why I don't even have an email account yet. Uh, or access to Oaks, but um, but we're working on that. So bear with me in the next day or two, you'll hear from me uh, through official channels. Uh, one of the things I wanted to uh, reach out to you uh, early on and, and get a, a feel for is how COVID has impacted you. Where are you now? I want to make sure that um, that I'm dialed into uh, how you're doing, and um, you could do that in your introduction. So you'll see. There's an outline in the email uh, here that I've sent. If you could follow that, including a, an introduction, and let me know, know in that introduction how you're doing, how has COVID impacted you, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, another thing that I want to understand is what do you want specifically out of the class? What can I help and kind of dial in on? Um, Why did you sign up for this class? Uh, what do you want to get out of it? And uh, what do you want to do? What do you like to do for fun? So, for example, me, uh, as you can probably tell here, um, I love music. I like playing music. I love going to see um, live music. I love to run. Um, I've, uh, I've finished a marathon. I uh, prefer uh, half marathons. I got several of those under my belt. Um, fishing, playing guitar, playing drums, um, and being with my girls. I have three girls, uh, 2016. And eight. So, um, just a short introduction like that is something that I would be interested in. And if you could, uh, you know, take 60 seconds or so, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just put it together, film it, and send it along. Um, attach it um, in Oaks, if you would please. So, part two of this video is to kind of walk you through um, the text of the email. I know it's it's rather lengthy, but I wanted to. Um, get the information out to you right away. I think sometimes uh, just getting information um, and, and communicating clearly uh, right up front is better than waiting for, let's say, you know, like my email to get set up or what have you. So uh, first thing is syllabus. Um, in the syllabus, you'll see kind of the rules of the road and the expectations for the class. You'll see um, what the uh, the grading breakdown is and what I expect uh, from you as a student. You also find my contact information uh, and then once I get the um, CFC email and any other contact information I'll add that to the syllabus and um, post a new revision to Oaks. Uh, you'll also see as the second item uh, the weekly schedule. For me, um, you know, having something printed out like this, the weekly schedule here and keeping it in front of me is something that, you know, that I use as a tool just to make sure that uh, as a one page plan for the semester, I'm very clear on what is expected. So um, I will actually fill those dates in and uh, the, you'll see the column for date and assignments uh, with a little bit more granular detail of what I expect each week. Uh, but for now, um, Check out that attachment, and uh, and you know specifically note that uh, we've got two items on there that are going to be due um, this week. Uh, bullet number three, um, link to the textbook. So the textbook's going to be free. That's good news. Um, you can download it. It's open source. Download the PDF. I'd recommend putting it on whatever you use for a cloud, Google uh, Docs or Dropbox or whatever. Um, and get through chapter one. It's a very short, this book is, is, is easy to process. It's an introductory level. Uh, you shouldn't have um, too much trouble with it and it's not a ton of reading. Um, so get through chapter one and um, that, that's a pretty low expectation there. So just get started and uh, read chapter one. Uh, bullet point number four is G metrics. So get through Gmetrics Core um, XL1, which is also on, uh, is listed under the weekly schedule. Um, you'll go into Gmetrics, you'll update um, or get an account. If you don't have an account already, you'll create an account and, um, and you'll get through that XL1 module. Um, 
number four or number five actually on the the email is um, a link it's a short survey a few of us uh, professors have come together to put this survey together um, what we want to do is uh, get some basic background information from the students and we want to use that information for data analysis and data analytics as we go through the module we thought that'd be a fun way uh, to add a little bit of of spice uh, to the learning while also uh, learning um, a bit about the students. So uh, you'll find a link to that. Um, it takes you to a Google form. You'll fill it out. It takes five minutes. Um, and then finally, number six is a video introduction similar to this. Uh, certainly, I don't want you to go into a ton of details. You know, 60 seconds is fine. Um, but if you could do that and attach that to Oaks as well, that would be fantastic. Um, as you'll see in the email, everything for week one um, is due by midnight on Sunday. I just want you to, to really get organized and you know get set uh, in week one for a really good semester. So if you have any questions or what have you, reach out to me. I, um, I've got obviously the email you can respond to. And um, I also have a, a temporary number that you can call. It's my work office number. Um, I should have a, a CFC telephone number as well at some point, but um, email is typically the best way to get in touch. So appreciate uh, your time and appreciate you um, bearing with us all as we uh, try to get through this pandemic, get through this strange start to a new semester, and welcome to class. I uh, look forward to meeting you virtually. Uh, zooming with you and uh, as needed as the semester uh, moves on, um, perhaps some FaceTime uh, if we're able to. All right. Thanks.